Okay, so I would like first off to say that there are times when um, an old man needs to learn something new. And so the credit to this video, and let me state it right up front and uh, give credit where credit is due, is uh, the, um, my viewer is Aoga007 made some observations to me. And I don't typically put a lot of money into the equipment in aircraft because usually I'm reviewing new aircraft rather than um, rather than uh, going over equipment. But in this case, it became so important and made such a difference, I wanted to go over this. So let's talk about this a little bit. Uh, he mentioned that if we went with the reinforced air, uh, airframe and the improved covering too, you'll notice that you start getting these big percentages. Well, they're not big um, by themselves, but when you start adding them up, this is 20% to the hit points of the aircraft, the survivability of, of the aircraft. Uh, then we added rear gun stabilization, give me a, another 15% to the effective uh, firing range of the rear guns. Then we go to pilot skill. Let's take a look at him. And we switched to the price for, uh, to uh, protection expert. All right. Now, I will remind you, uh, because it's not apparent, that if you just go to the tech tree, the rather show than to uh, tell you. If you go here and you look at the JU88P, uh, it's showing me the with the all the upgrades. Okay, so I guess I will just say it. Uh, we are at 800 hit points unmodified. When we look at the aircraft specifications with the three changes, we're at 1,036. That's a very, very much tougher aircraft. Gun armament has gone up because of the rear gunner and the increase to the uh, gunner turret. Uh, and then when we look at uh, now showing you for the rear gunner, but for the rear guns now you're getting, let's see if we can show this successfully that the range is now 2133 and I do not have the points to put into defensive fire which would give me um, a 30% reduction in the fire that I would be taking incoming. But that again is the skill that you would want to add some additional ones to armorer and the uh, quick reflexes all add up pretty quickly. All right, so a uh, ballistics expert would be another one that I would look at very seriously. All these things will add uh, a lot to your survivability of this aircraft. Okay, Jeff, so what difference did it make? Okay, another thing about this and a uh, more complete video. Uh, so let's go to battle and we're going to talk about it. And I would like someday for us to be able to actually go to battle. I guess 21 seconds was terribly long, but I'm an impatient man. What can I say? So we decided to put these in there and uh, see what would happen. I kind of like the idea of us going forward and learning things and not just review of aircraft, but gameplay and uh, the effects of some of these mods. Um, so it's an excellent opportunity to do so. Now you have one gun, one 50 millimeter gun. Now for aircraft, that's one big uh, honking gun. That's a technical term for huge. 
It is in the south, at least, where I come from. Show me what you can do, pilot. Let's roll. All right. And if you can avoid running into your fellow pilots, it's always helpful. Okay, another thing about this gun is it is 70 rounds per minute instead of the 50 rounds or 55 rounds per minute you're getting out of your 37s that you previously had on this aircraft. Five rounds will kill a target, and you get them quicker, and you get them better. Okay, that's good. So, uh, as with the uh, other armament, one shot will kill um, any soft target out there if you hit it. Do you miss it? Well, what are you going to say, right? So, when it comes to it, one, two, three, four, five, switch targets. One, two, three, four, five, switch targets. One. And always throw some extra. Now, one thing is you got to pay attention to this. I am notorious. In fact, I call it pulling a tear when I slam into uh, uh, into a building. Now, sometimes that's a kind of deliberate tactic because I like the idea of uh, scraping aircraft off a uh, off a building but in general running into things is not a good way no matter how many hit points you have on your aircraft to have a happier game and contribute the most to your team now we will talk about uh, we have a full video coming later this week about gameplay. Because frankly, people, we got a little bit to learn. Now, it might be fun for fighters to always fight other fighters, and getting the airfield was really important, but you have got to have a good idea of what each one of these bases provides you and what it does not provide you. That mining base gives you an, uh, an additional 120 influence every uh, one, uh, three minutes. And when you start asking yourself, well, how much difference could that could make? Um, my friend Juan Mendoza, who you see me flying with all, and I went and took two uh, mining bases the other day, and we uh, essentially won the game because of the mining bases. That's how important it is. Alright, you've heard me talk about this before, and I don't like preaching, but bottom line is... If you keep getting the, doing the same thing the same way, you're going to get the same results every time. Alright, that was Mr. Einstein's famous uh, quote on sanity. All right, so we do making sure that we do the five count and shift your targets very quickly. Come back, try to finish off your targets. Okay, it gets us a little closer. Every time you take out one of these bases, it gets a little closer. And you notice I'm under ground attack, I'm under uh, fighter attack, and I'm not getting a whole lot of fighter support. And I'm not doing this just because I can get points, so that's part of the reason. Um, part of it is that, but part of it is that I want us to win. Well, you're not going to win, folks, if you can't take caps. You can say whatever you want to, but you can't do it. It's can't, literally cannot do it. And if you let your ground attack aircraft get chewed up over and over and over again because one side's smart enough to give fighter support and the other one isn't, the outcome gets pretty certain.
it gets very certain. Now let's go take a look at what's happening here. Uh, as soon as we can come up here with the uh, with my ground attack aircraft. done some damage to this we need to keep doing damage to it I'll try again I'll highlight it maybe we'll get some help this time And you notice we're losing. It's not a big surprise. Hang in there. Sorry if I sound a little sarcastic, but when you get to this and you see this every day and it never changes, you know, I'm doing my job. Kind of change it up here a little bit because I'm trying to shake this fighter off a little bit uh, with limited success. And you notice that these hit points, how long I'm lasting in this despite the fact that I'm being attacked. And that is the rear gunner, that is the hit points. But, one guy <clears throat> flying for him, my hat's off to the man, won this guy, won their team, the game. Because he stayed over that fighter base and picked off ground attack aircraft. And you notice all the fighter resistance he got. Zero. Okay. We're losing points, you're losing games because we're not fighting smart. And I am pretty certain that not everybody in the game besides me was a bot. That fighter wasn't. Okay, we did 21,000. I have had games where I've had, um, with this, with over 36,007 ground... Uh, Targets killed. And you notice there are people in this game that are not bots. I'm not going to call them out, but if you play the same old way, you get the same results. If you ever want to get better, if you want your team to win more, <clears throat> you have to support your ground attack, attack people. Okay? So, what about the aircraft? Well, the aircraft is perfectly viable if you know how to play it and I am going to stress I did not know how to play it the 50 millimeter is more than enough to take down anything and take it down fairly rapidly you may have to make two or three passes you're gonna to have to talk to some people about getting your um, getting some cover while you do it there's no reason why one fighter ought to dominate a game like that but the man just did so, uh, for that guy, uh, my hat's off. Let's see if uh, he even shows up here because I want to call him out specifically for doing a good job. Um, well, I guess he can't really, but okay. Um, he understood that if he took out ground attack fighters, and as long as there were no other fighters around, he didn't have to worry about it. 
and he absolutely secured that mining base for them, got them over the course of the time in the game, I'm going to guess right around 240 points of influence, plus the three that ticks over every few seconds. Um, when you start thinking about that, that's a hell of a contribution. Because if he would left me in that aisle, uh, aisle two alone for very long, or aisle three, whatever, or eight, whatever it was, I'm sorry, I'd have to actually go and look. It's not important. But uh, <coughs> we'd have taken it straight back. He prevented that. Okay, and he didn't prevent that by taking on other fighters. Okay, so the uh, changes were improved covering two. Uh, then the uh, rear gun stabilization and improved airframe, uh, uh, reinforced airframe two. With those, you're now looking at this. When you get the uh, airframe upgrade, uh, you're over you're right at 1100 points that's a hell of a tough vehicle now this is not just on the ju88 folks uh, you can take your il8 we'll take a look at it okay let's go look at this put on a reinforced airframe Improved covering too. Well, I don't have enough money, I think, to get the improved covering too. Um, but you can see the jump right there. Okay. You change your pilot out. And you'll have to change out its uh, score. So let's do a reset. Now I want the, or the demolition expert, but I also want this protection. Okay. So we'll do that. And we'll master that skill. Close. 11.50. All right, it's jumping up there. By the time I do this two or three more times, so you get your uh, rear stabilization and your uh, improved covering. Three. Now, these are more expensive because this is a Tier 7 aircraft. You get a much tougher aircraft. And this guy is pretty tough already. Uh, his next three points will be going into defensive fire. Okay, now, I'd already gotten the uh, grade here, so he's at 26. You add another 15% to that. It's going to be awfully tough to outrange him anymore, right? So these things are things that are going to help you. Uh, what's going to be a little tougher to do is uh, to uh, change the habits of your fellow uh, players, but you need to be aware of them. We'll talk about that more tomorrow or the next day or the day after that because I've got to give some real thought about how I want to present that. I'm a little disgusted in uh, this get this last game because we got no help whatsoever. We told people what we wanted, we're trying to do here, and they didn't want to help. Um, okay, so that's where you're at, right? I mean, I can't change other people, and I can't, but I can inform you, and I have a great uh, community. Uh, with the, we went over a hundred subscribers today. One hundred subscribers. This channel has been in operation less than a month, or just over a month. Excuse me. Don't let me start lying. Um, and you guys are the greatest. All right. Uh, Zoga zero zero seven. This one's for you. I want you to know that I heard you. I appreciated it. And this video is a. Uh, Tip of the hat to you, buddy. Uh, thank you for the information. And that goes for every last one of you. If you think you got something and you won't, um, and you think you got a good idea, bring it up to me. I want to make a video on it. I want to try it out, win or lose. And it, listen, it's not going to be the first time that I had a bad idea. 
I'm going to guarantee you that the not invented syndrome here syndrome doesn't exist. I'm still learning this game, obviously. But if you got an idea, you want to share it on the channel, let me know. I'll mention you by name. I am not shy about it. I want to give credit where credit's due. And this was a great idea. This was, will significantly improve your ground attack aircraft. You will get a much tougher, much more able, much more defensible aircraft. Um, and that's worth it. Remember to like this video uh, if you do like it. Uh, remember to dislike the vehicle, vehicle uh, the video if you dislike it, but let me know why. Uh, thumbs down and moving on doesn't tell me a whole lot. I don't know how to fix things for you. Uh, so do let me know. And then, um, as always, we can always use more subscribers. So I thank you very dearly. Uh, you're, um, God bless each and every one of you. You have my humble and sincere gratitude for watching the channel. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Bye-bye.